In that time, in the beginning of December, I made, uh, uh, I finished uh, 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 another film in Bucharest. <laughs> I remember that uh, we made a color correction and uh, during the night from 10th till 11th December, I follow uh, what happens in Kiev on the uh, main square because it was a fighting and uh, I already was ready to go and to shoot and uh, I think from the beginning uh, how it was started I thinking that uh, uh, this is an uh, event which I can't miss because in 2004 it was uh, Orange Revolution uh, and uh, I didn't shoot that. You know some films uh, about uh, Orange Revolution? <laughs> Can you remind me? I also, and I think that uh, this is a very important historical event, and I, I have to to do what I can. We shot uh, during uh, uh, three months, and uh, I shot uh, the first part, uh, like uh, first uh, hour. Uh, when I was in uh, December and it was a kind of car carnival uh, with, uh, I don't know, uh, a lot of folk elements uh, with uh, a special sense of humor. U Ukraine humor is very interesting uh, and uh, with uh, uh, a lot of folk songs and uh, uh, with uh, fantastic decoration, I can say that uh, because uh, all tents and all uh, things which was constructed uh, on that place, uh, even barricades, uh, very interesting uh, as a piece of art. After that, the atmosphere has changed mm. and things become uh, even after Russian New Year. You know, it's. Uh, a little bit, uh, it's old New Year <laughs> and uh, things become more stronger and uh, uh, you can imagine the atmosphere. Already exists some killed people and you know. it starts uh, as a um, kind of a festival, <coughs> protest festival, let's say like that, and finished as a Greek tragedy. And it, it still continued. <clears throat> I mean that uh, the war which uh, Russia started against Ukraine and uh, occupation uh, of Crimea and uh, war now in the east of uh, Ukraine, uh, uh, this is answer and it's just a direct connection with the revolution. First of all, I choose the uh, hero. I don't want to, to give, uh, uh, to have in the film uh, some hero who will be a Virgilio and will explain us everything. It was a revolution without leader, without leader, without party. And uh, it was a revolution uh, where a lot of people make a decision together and uh, I think that this is my hero and to follow hero I have to choose way how I will be close or far from them this is only one way to put camera and don't move I can say that uh, it's very uh, difficult not to move camera it's very difficult because uh, a lot of things happen around and you want to show everything. Not necessary. Of course it's another space. Uh, we reconstruct everything. It's uh, all uh, sound which we can hear now. Uh, it's a construction. 
Uh, of course, it was uh, uh, during that time and that place, but not in the moment when uh, we shot. And uh, we, after that, uh, make this uh, uh, sound uh, more rich than it was uh, during the shooting. Of course, I used the direct sound, we recorded sound, but sometimes it's not interesting. <coughs> Not interesting. Why I have to, to lose this possibility to give you more information? And uh, not only information, uh, give you this music of uh, revolution with uh, drums, with uh, voices, uh, with uh, sound of the stone. Gunshots. Um, with gunshots, yes. Because uh, uh, the stone, uh, it sounded uh, in the film. Especially make this sound. In normal life, it's not like that. Because it's a cinema. Uh, the influence from the church was very important. Uh, and so every three hours, it was a pray. Different religion and not only Christian it was a Rebbe from Judaism, uh, Judaism. it was a uh, Muslim uh, and also a different kind of uh, Christian uh, because in, in Ukraine it's not only Orthodox uh, Russian Orthodox Ukraine uh, and also Adventist and uh, uh, it was uh, Ukraine autocephalian uh, Orthodox Church. <laughs> it's many different directions and many different churches. And only a Russian uh, Patriarchate was not uh, uh, present on Maidan. A lot of uh, uh, popes, uh, they participate in the fighting. They stay in between two, uh, two groups of people. They stay between uh, police and demonstrants and the stones. You know, only uh, in different places, but not in the place where uh, the Pope stay with icon. <laughs> Can you imagine? But they try to save uh, young soldiers uh, uh, who was not, uh, it, it was not police, but this is part of army. Name it Vnutrinye Vajska, inside uh, forces or something like that. And uh, the soldier from that forces, that's a young uh, people, uh, they have an obligation to serve an army and uh, nobody asks them. The policemen, they get money and this is a job, you can make a decision. And these uh, uh, soldiers, uh, they didn't make any decision. And the popes tried to save this part of uh, it's very, very, sometimes very smart what they uh, doing. What about nationalism? Uh, I think uh, that we have a very wrong uh, uh, connotation of this, this uh, word, nationalism, mm, because uh, uh, any nation didn't appear uh, without uh, this kind of patriotic movement. Any, if you look around, this is uh, what happens with uh, uh, every country, every nation. I think that uh, uh, after the 30s, even after uh, German uh, Dritte Reich, Third Empire, uh, this uh, word uh, have a, a very bad connotation. Now the propagandists, they use this connotation to mark the movement in Ukraine uh, like that. I think so, because uh, uh, the real uh, people, the last election was uh, uh, the president election, show how people react on nationalistic uh, figure. They all together, that it was not real nationalistic, uh, but uh, people who use this kind of rhetoric sometimes, or use it before, uh, they together, uh, there was a co candidate uh, to the president, they together have uh, like, uh, 1.5 percent. Oh, <laughs> for me it was a surprise because uh, the film <coughs> immediately split audience. Some people hate it. Some uh, people uh, 
uh, love it, but it's understandable because uh, usually people thinking that uh, documentary cinema have to explain everything, show all proof with a camera and uh, uh, give the absolutely complete picture what happens. I never make films like that. Uh, this is what people explain, uh, uh, expect. I think uh, uh, it came from uh, Soviet time because it was a propaganda and explanation and from, from now from TV because uh, people ready to think like that. The second thing, of course, you can't show everything what happens. Even for people who participate, uh, if you miss, uh, if I show what happens, it, it will be like 24 hour <coughs> film and even I miss many important moments. And after that, uh, who will survive after these uh, 24 hours? <laughs> Come to me and say, <laughs> You need something. Of course, it's not too easy to see this uh, film. It's a long take, so especially make this uh, uh, use this method to have like three, five minute takes to, to show, uh, uh, to give an atmosphere and show uh, what kind of people uh, participate. We try to make a composition where you have a lot of places uh, to see and follow. It's interesting how to organize everything. But you need a time to, to, to understand, to make your own uh, um, uh, decision or own uh, impression.